Hello everyone, I'm Bruce with Wannabe Free Channel and this is part three of the series of the Northern Tools trailer to DIY Overland trailer. And in this video I'm going to be building the sides to the box. I'm using one and a or I'm using one half inch plywood along with some two by two furring strips, some wood glue and screws. So let's get to it. So I was able to put together two sides in this fashion. As you can see, I've got the two by two furring strips glued and screwed all the way around with the center brace. And it's probably overkill. This is half inch plywood. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned because this has got some pretty substantial weight to it. I think it's in the neighborhood of about 25 pounds per side. The good news is these are the biggest sides so the other the ends will be a little bit less than that hopefully so the next step is I've got to prepare the base of the trailer so that I can install the sides and I don't know if it's going to show on the video but I've drawn a bunch of lines on here and kind of laid things out where I'm going to be putting this battery box and I'll be using the same 2x2 two two furring strips to build a basically a tray to set the batteries down into. I've got just enough room in the front for the Dometic CF50 refrigerator. So I've got to get get these pieces cut. I'm going to go almost full length on those front and back pieces and then I'll have small pieces to just screw in on the ends after I put the batteries in place. But for now I want to get this glued get these cut and glued down to the base and uh, again I, I don't know if you can see the lines on the video or not but I've 
drawn some lines where I'm going to cut the curve around here so this looks nice and smooth there's no sharp edges and then this is where the side rails that I just built the sides of the box will fit front to back down each side inside the fender so this will be just like a shelf sticking out here so I'm going to set up the time lapse and get to cutting and gluing and screwing those down and uh, we'll show you when I get that finished Now that I got the battery box glued and, glued and screwed down, <clears throat> what I want to do is, uh, I bought these vents. These are for like venting your crawl space or something. I actually bought them for a different project and meant to take them back. <laughs> but I'm going to use them on this project. They have a screen on the back and they're made in the USA. I don't know if you can see that which that's cool anyway this is going to be below the refrigerator the refrigerator is going to sit right here what I want to do is cut a hole here and then screw this over the top of it for a, a vent for incoming air so I can get air flow into this storage box so I'm just going to try to get some measurements and trace this out, get it drawn out, and then take the jigsaw and cut this hole out. You're looking at the bottom side of the bottom. This is going to be the vent structure. They'll let fresh air into the box. So I just built a two by two box, three, three sides around that hole that I put in there. And then this will be the lid that's going to go over the top of that. But I won't put the lid on and screw it down until I get all this painted caulk around the edges to seal that off from from any water coming in from the front of the trailer then I'll glue and screw this on there and paint over it and that just leaves the entire backside wide open for air to come in and then go up into the box now I know some of you might be thinking that this is overkill and it may be overkill but as I get farther along in the project with the refrigerator install and some of the ventilation hopefully this will maybe uh, make a little more sense and I'm not going to deny that it that it may potentially be overkill but it's a little bit of extra work now and it it's a whole lot easier to do it now than it would be to do it when the box is finished and permanently mounted on the trailer 
So on the next video, the next step is to get the platform put back on here. And I've got six bolts, three down each side, one right there and back in the back. Same thing on the other side. I've got a drill, uh, looks like about a one inch hole in the bottom so that it got a good scratch there so that it clears these bolts. I'm not going to use those bolt holes to bolt the floor down. I'm going to use four of these, one, two, three, and four. And the reason is these holes, these bolts were a little bit tough to put in because that's part of getting the frame square and everything. So I don't want to pull those back out and try to fish a bolt down through the top and everything else. So I'm going to get those six holes drilled in the bottom so it fits over the top of those. And then I got to determine where to drill the holes so it meets up with these holes are already pre-existing in the trailer. The four that I'm going to use to bolt it down. I may actually use a fifth on that center piece right there. So I have four in each corner and one in the middle. That should be plenty of bolts to hold it all onto the trailer, trailer bed. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate your views. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the video, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. See you on the next one.